my channel. My name is Salma. Today we are going to learn how to make Mexican rice. So the first thing we're going to need, we're going to need a pot with the lid. It's important, these two. And then the second thing we are going to need is oil, masola, canola, canola oil. We are going to need four tablespoons, one cup of rice. And you see I use mahama. You can see? That's usually that's the one I use. Two garlic. And we are going to need tomato sauce. And the last thing we are going to need is uh, chicken flavor bouillon. Also it's called caldo con sabor de pollo. First we are going to put the pot in the stove. We're going to turn a uh, medium heat. Now we are going to put the oil in the pan. Now we are going to put the rice in the pan. And then we are going to, to stir. You can see we have enough oil, not too much, but we have plenty. We're gonna let it for a little bit and we're gonna stir. You don't need to stir the whole time because you are going, if you stir it too much, you probably break it. So just give it a little bit, stir it, let it set for a minute, then stir it again. You're going to know when the rice is ready when it's turning to gold. So now we have the rice. You will stir it. Not too much, not too little. Also, don't leave them alone because they can burn. So just keep an eye. like a spoon like wood spoon instead of plastic it's my favorite because sometimes the plastic I don't know feel they kind of melts in the rice so my favorite is wood it's almost done it's as you can see it's turned a little well this still would need like probably two more three more minutes it takes probably like seven minutes until it turns golden Okay, now as you can see the rice is gold, so now we are going to lower the heat really low and we are going to add the tomato salsa. So the reason we want to put it on low, so when you put the tomato sauce in the seeds, you don't want to jump it or lower, so you want the rice to cool down a little bit. So we let like one minute until it cools down a little bit. Just still stir because you don't want them to burn. Now we are going to add the tomato sauce. And the reason that the reason that you lower the heat is because you see, if we don't rate, uh, lower the heat, it will make like glass all over and burn yourself. Now we can add the chicken flavor bouillon now. Here. We can add the garlic. Usually I use one of these. Put the garlic in here. Smash it. Put two. This is really easy to chop the garlic. I love this one. We are going to need two and a half cup of water. I like warm water. So since we lower the flames, you're not going to burn it. So this one, there you have it. So now we are going to raise our heat, medium heat. We are going to stir a little bit the rice. Now we're going to let it boil, bring it to boil. So after it's boiled, we are going to put the leaf. That's why it was important to have one of those. Now, as you can see, my uh, rice, my water is boiling. So now it's time, we're gonna stir the rice one more time. And then we are going to cover it back. So now we are going to lower the heat, very important because you don't wanna leave the heat really high because the rice wouldn't cook. So 
Now we are going to leave it like that, approximately like 15 minutes, that's what I think. You keep an eye to the water evaporate, it should be keep cooked by then. So we got the heat, you see it has plenty of water. And it's gonna cook like that. We stir one more time. And we just leave it alone. I guess so maybe 15 minutes. We come back and check it in 15 minutes. And then I'll show you how it looks. It's been a couple minutes, maybe like five minutes. We are going to stir one more time. Okay, uh, I wanted to show you one more time my flame. My flame is really, really low. My rice is done. It's been cooking around maybe 13, 14 minutes. And that is how it looks. All the water evaporation, it's no more water. You see, all the water is, is done. So now we are going to cover back and we are going to trim the heat. So no more heat is up. It's up. In the red, the rice, we're gonna let it um, rest for 10 minutes. And then they will be ready to eat. I'll show you in 10 minutes how it looks. Well, my rice is ready. You see it's no water. It's dry, it's soft, it's perfect to eat. This is how it looks. This is the Mexican rice. And there you have it. Mexican uh, rice, it fits four people. It takes approximately like 45 minutes to make it from beginning to end. And it doesn't take a lot of ingredients and it's really easy to make. You can combine with a lot of dishes that I will show you later. And thank you for watching me.